Good morning, my brothers. Uh, greetings from the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father, who fills us with all good things and causes us to grow in the Spirit as He fills us. I want to uh, teach a little bit out of Acts uh, chapters 10, and uh, we're going to begin in verse 34. But if you remember, this is when uh, the Gentiles come into the church. In Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit has been poured out on the disciples, and, the, and they have become apostles and are teaching this truth of the new life in Christ. And uh, now a vision is been given to Cornelius. Cornelius uh, is a God-fearing man, and he uh, prays every day to the Lord. He gives to the poor, and he's very kind to the Jews. Therefore, God has given him a vision that a, that a man will come to him and, and give him this message of the new, new life in Christ. And he gives also Peter the same vision. Uh, if you remember the sheets of the unclean animals that came down, and God told him, Do not call anything unclean that I call clean. And he was talking about the Gentiles, because the Jews believed that the Gentiles could never be saved. They could never get to the end of their sins because, and they were just dogs. So they were treated it that way by them. Now God says he shows no favoritism. I'd like to begin in, uh, in Acts chapter 10 verse 34. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, telling them the good news and peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. Now, it says this good news is that now through every circumstance of life, Jesus Christ himself is our peace as we go through. As Psalm 84 tells you, through the valley of weeping, and you will be rivers of living water, and pools of rain will be on the river as you flow through this circumstance of life, because you can't be moved from the foundation and the cornerstone, which is Christ, who is your peace. If you remember, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That's something that the world cannot take away. Circumstance cannot take away, because it's eternal. You were born again of the Spirit. John chapter 3. Jesus said, lest you be born of the Spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is invisible, but not to the man who is born of the Spirit. That's you, if you have the Spirit. That's why we're talking about the Spirit. And we're going to see how the Gentiles receive the Spirit. Alright, you know what has happened through Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached. If you remember the baptism of John, it was, was a repentance. It's a baptism of repentance, waiting for him who would come and baptize them with fire right, and with the Spirit. So that happened in Acts chapter 2. Now all nations are going to come into the body of Christ because that is the kingdom of God. 